Welcome back. We are going to be doing some improper integrals today. The first one is the integral of dx over x to the fifth um, on the range 2 to infinity. So whenever you see this um, a range on the integral sign, don't worry about it at first. The first thing that you want to do is evaluate the integral, find the integral, and then you are going to plug these in at the end. So we're just going to ignore them for now. We're going to first take the integral of this, um, and I'm going to simplify this integral. The first thing I'm going to do, um, infinity to, um, is separate the dx from the fraction. So this looks like 1 over x to the 5 times dx, right? And then um, I'm going to move the x to the fifth to the numerator by making it x to the negative 5. Um, this is easier for me to do um, than a fraction like this with x to the fifth on the bottom. So all you have to do is change the, the sign on the exponent from a positive to a negative. If it were, um, if it, we could move it back, here it's a negative in the numerator, we could move it to the denominator and make it a positive. So you can kind of flip those back and forth. Um, so now we have something that I feel more comfortable working with. And the first thing we're going to do is uh, take the integral here. So x to the negative 5, we're going to take the integral, we add 1 to the exponent. So negative 5 plus 1 is negative 4. And then the coefficient on this term is 1, which is implied. And we divide the coefficient by the new exponent, so 1 over negative 4. So we've got negative 1 fourth x to the negative 4, and um, that's, our, that's our integral. I'm going to go ahead, though, and change um, this the, so that the exponent um, on the x is not negative. And like I said before, we can just move that to the bottom again, and that'll become a positive 4. So our integral actually looks like negative 1 fourth. Oh, sorry, I gotta give myself more room. Um, so we've got negative 1 over um, 4x to the fourth. So you see, we just moved the x to the fourth down to the bottom, and this uh, exponent went from a negative 4 to a positive 4. We've got our negative out in front and our 1 fourth coefficient here. So um, this is our, um, our, our final integral here. We just have to now evaluate it on 2 to infinity. And the way that we can do that is um, once you've taken an integral, you draw this line and you write 2 to infinity. Um, and then we evaluate. So the way that you do that, um, let's just go ahead and write it out. 1 over 4 infinity minus 1 over, and let's do a negative here, 4, 2 to the fourth. Okay, so you always um, plug in the, the term that's on the top here. So we've got infinity. You plug that in first to everything that's, that's included here. So we've got our negative 1 over 4 times infinity to the fourth. And then you always subtract, this is always, um, you're subtracting uh, when you plug this in from when you plug this in. So we've got minus, and then of course another minus sign because this is still a negative out here. So minus, and then this whole thing again, but with a 2 plugged in. So it's this one minus this one. So now that we've done that, um, we can evaluate this. Obviously you don't have infinity um, on your calculator, you can't plug in infinity. What I always did was plug in a really, really big number, like I'd pick um, 100,000 or a million or something like that. It's, some people can just kind of look at it and, just, and figure out what this term's going to be. It's easier for me to go, you know, to plug in 1 million or 10 million or something like that to the fourth times 4, um, 1 divided by that answer and see what I get. If you do that, if you plug in a really large number um, into this, uh, term here into your calculator, you end up getting zero out in front here. And, and you can kind of see that because if this is a really, really, really big number 
and then you raise it to the fourth power, it ends up being an even bigger number, and then you multiply it by four and it ends up being an even bigger number, and you've got one divided by a huge number. So you can imagine, you know, one divided by 10 is 0.1, one divided by 100 is 0 0.01. That answer is getting smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller the bigger this bottom term gets, which means that um, if you actually plugged infinity in here, this is going to be 0. So this ends up being 0. And then, of course, since you have a um, minus a negative, that becomes a plus. So you have plus, and then 1 over uh, 2 to the fourth is um, 4, 8, 16, so 16 times 4 is 40 and 24, so 1 over 64, and the final answer is actually 1 over 64. So all you do when you have a problem like this with a range here is evaluate uh, the integral, which I did here, I finally got to this point, and then that's when you bring back in the 2 to infinity, and you just evaluate on this range, and again that's the top term here minus the, the bottom term here, and um, then you simplify and hopefully you end up with a, uh, a definite answer like 1 to the 64th.